Hello, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Just Say Gway. I'm your host, George Gway. Today, I'm joined by Jaden Grube, who is a hockey player for the Red Deer Rebels in the Western Hockey League and is also the captain of his team. Jaden, thanks for on the show. Yeah, thanks for having me. Yeah, so fill me in. How have things been this last year? I know we had the shutdown. I know your team is playing now in the midst of a pandemic. What's it been like? Uh, yeah, it's been uh, difficult. We got a uh, late start to the season. We got pushed back a couple of times. Uh, here in Alberta, we got shut down a few times. The rinks closed. The gyms closed. Um, so, yeah, it's been a, it's been a little different. Uh, only a 20-game schedule this year. So, um, no fans, no playoffs. So, that's all wrapped up now. So, it's been, uh, it's been a little difficult. But uh, I think everyone's looking forward till next year. Yeah, for sure. So I got to ask, you know, with the shortened season, like how does that affect your training? And uh, in terms of no fans, what do you guys use to uh, have as motivation during the games? Yeah, um, it was a little different with no fans. Um, but I think once you're out there and you're playing, you don't really notice it much. Um, I think once once you're going and you, after your first shift, it's something you don't really uh, you don't really think about after you get going. For sure. So, uh, fill me in. What's it like growing up in Alberta? Because there's so many great hockey players uh, from that area. Even guys now like Braden Point, Cal McCarr. Um, what's it like having that culture and uh, being able to experience it from a hockey perspective? Yeah, um, you know it's pretty big around here. Kind of all my buddies play hockey. Everyone I know plays hockey, and um, there's those guys to look up to that are in the NHL now. And you got the Flames and the Oilers and everyone's cheering for either one of the teams and it's kind of a rivalry. And uh, I think even for the WHL and uh, the Alberta division here is pretty big. So I think, uh, yeah, it's just that fan base is a, a good thing for the province. And I think uh, just having all the people around us that support hockey and everyone else plays hockey. So it's uh every kind of a culture around here and everyone everyone enjoys it yeah for sure I went out to uh, Calgary a few years ago for a wedding and I got to see the Saddle Dome and I think I think it's a bit more special when uh, it's the biggest team in the city it's really out of the more uh, four major sports that is the only team but so what other uh, players do you try and model your game after are there any from Alberta that you looked up to specifically um you know my kind of my favorite player growing up was uh, Jerome McGinley but Kind of nowadays, I like to watch a guy like Matthew Kachuk or Jamie Benn, someone who kind of pretty physical, but he's skilled and kind of has a different aspects to his game. Yeah, those are great guys to look up to. So can you please explain what the process is like in terms of ending up on a specific WHL team or whether the leagues that you might have played in? Uh, how'd that work? Yeah, so you just kind of go through uh, your first year of uh, Bantam hockey. So you U15, I think it is now. Um, so after your first year, then you're going into your second year um, and you kind of start talking to some WHL scouts and different teams. And then uh, kind of halfway through the year or towards the end, um, kind of get some interviews. You're talking to scouts after games. They're talking to your parents. And then uh, kind of close to the draft, you're, you're having some phone calls, kind of getting a feel for which team is going to pick you. And then you kind of see the draft lottery come out and you kind of whichever team's kind of talking to the most you kind of get it you get a bit of an idea but uh anything anything that can happen but I think some guys have a good idea of which team they're going to but uh yeah it's kind of a two-year process almost because all those teams watch you from first year bantam into your second year there well it's definitely worked out for you so one question I got to ask uh, did you ever consider going to college in the States? Because I went to Providence College. It's a big college hockey school in the States. Uh, we do have some guys from Canada that have played on the team, uh, even from Finland as well. Did going to the States ever cross your mind? Um, a little bit, but I think once I got drafted to Red Deer, and I, I, was, uh, I was looking forward to that and playing with Brent. And uh, I think just kind of depending on where I went would kind of influence my decision. So I think going to Red Deer there really kind of just solidified that choice to stay in the WHL there. Yeah, and as I said, it's definitely worked out. You know, you're the captain of the team. In order to play well, you have to have great facilities. Can you just elaborate on 
uh, what it's like to you know be with this team and also uh, the facilities uh, for the team? Yeah, um, you know, being with Red Deer, it's, uh, it's a pretty cool experience. It's, uh, it's a well-known uh, team and organization around the league. It's somewhere where guys want to play, and it's well run by uh, – Brent there and he, he kind of uh, he, he knows how to get everyone going and how to get uh, guys to the next level and grow people into pros and uh, good people on and off the ice and I guess yeah and even this year so we uh, we're getting our rink ready for world juniors that was supposed to be last year but it'll be this year in Red Deer and Edmonton so we got uh, new seats new Jumbotron uh big renovations at the rink there. So it's, uh, it's pretty nice for our season uh, coming up here. Yeah. Now in this specific season, what do you like about this Red Bull team? I'm oh, sorry, Red Deer, my mistake. Uh, what do you like about this team so far? Yeah, we, uh, we already made a few trades here in the off season. So I think we added, added another goalie, which will be pretty big for us. And then some depth up front. So I think uh, coming back this year, I think it'll be a big year for our team. We got, uh, we got, we got an older team this year. Uh, last two years, we've been kind of young, but I think everyone's been there a few years now. So I think uh, pretty big expectations for our squad this year. And uh, going in there will be uh, important to get off to a good start and uh, make a push this year. Yeah, that's a great answer. And so uh, you're eligible for the NHL draft this year uh, to be selected. Uh, what's it going to be like when that day comes? And how has uh, COVID affected the draft process? Yeah, I think uh, it's had a pretty big impact on that. I know it'll be like an online draft again this year. And, uh, you know, some guys in Ontario didn't even get to play any games. Guys here played, whatever, 20. Um, guys in Quebec played 20, 30, 40, whatever it was. Uh, so it's kind of a little different. Each guy's played a different amount of games. So I think it's hard to judge uh, a few guys. And, It'll be a little different this year, but I think uh, just when that day comes, it'll be pretty special and hopefully everything goes well, but it'll be definitely a little nerve wracking for sure. Yeah, I'm excited for you, man. And my last question is, what are your thoughts on the NHL playoffs so far? Do you have a team that you root for in this and uh, what are your thoughts on it? Yeah, um, I've been a Tampa fan for a little while here when I'm not cheering for Calgary or they're not in the playoffs. So I think cheering for Tampa again here, but I think that Tampa, Florida series, and that, uh, even that Pittsburgh uh, Islanders game last night was pretty awesome. So those, those two series are just scrums after every whistle and physical. So it's pretty awesome to watch. Yeah. And I think that this is the most overtimes we've seen so far uh, for the start of the playoffs. I'm personally a Capitals fan, even though I live in Boston, which is kind of tough right now. And I think we kind of gave away a couple of games, but uh, we'll see what happens. Jaden, thanks for coming on my show, and uh, we'll stay in touch. And I uh, can't wait to see what happens with your season and the NHL draft. Yeah, thank you. Appreciate it. Thanks for having me. Have a good one.